Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So glad to have you with me today. So happy that you're studying the Word of God. And my prayer for you is that you're growing in your walk with the Lord, or perhaps you don't know Him. You're going to find Him to be loving toward you and how much He sacrificed to you. And He gave us His Bible so that we could have His directions, His instructions for our lives. And He always leads us to a relationship with His Son, Jesus, who came to die for our sins. And when we receive Him, He becomes our Savior and Lord. He forgives our sins, and He helps us to know what He's saying in His Word. That's why we always go to Him in prayer as we begin our study, because we know the Lord wants to be involved in our time together. So let's pray today. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks again today for another opportunity to study Your Word. We're just so grateful for You You're our creator. You gave us breath and life. You sustain our lives. You give us the scriptures and you give us the ability to know the scriptures. So my prayer today, Lord, is that we are blessed with the presence of your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and to empower us to live according to that truth so that our lives will be pleasing to you. That's our goal today, Lord, and we are so thankful that you're involved in it. And we are so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, The Father Sent Jesus. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 12, and verse 49. The apostle John wrote how Jesus said, He that rejects me and receives not my words has one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. And in chapter 12 and verse 49 of his book, John shared how Jesus said, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment. Where we read, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. The verse reads, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment. John began with the words, for I have not spoken, which means because, since, and on account that I, Jesus, have not uttered, declared, and proclaimed words of myself or pertaining to Jesus' own self, but the Father, which means nevertheless notwithstanding and moreover the heavenly Father God, which sent me or who dispatched and assigned me, Jesus, he gave me a commandment which means the heavenly Father God bestowed, granted, furnished, and supplied me, Jesus, with an order, command, charge, precept, and injunction. John shared how Jesus said he did not speak about himself, but rather God, his heavenly Father, charged him with the directive and injunction. The verse continues, What should I say, and what I, sh- what I should say, and what I should speak? John added the words, what I should say, which means the words I, Jesus, was to utter, proclaim, and declare, and what I should speak, or and the words I, Jesus, was to emit, articulate, utter, and tell. John said how Jesus said it was his Father God who told him what to declare and what to articulate. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus' words and sayings were directed from his Father God above. Jesus did as the Father told him, and because Jesus came to save people from their sins, he gave them the words of salvation and rescue for their souls. God loves people, and he desires to have a personal relationship with every one of them through his son Jesus. Jesus died for the sins of the world. And when a person submits themselves to him as their personal Savior and Lord, he will forgive their sins and grant them everlasting life. Those who are wise will hear and believe in Jesus and his words. Next time, John shares how Jesus says, I know that his commandment is life everlasting. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.